Hi, welcome back to my e-learning channel. I've been asked to look at a site remotely. They've given me team viewer access and they're saying that the display that's on the MCP1 panel is displaying the domestic up water temperatures, which are these here, 59.9 .9 and 59.8, are displaying differently on the display in the panel and what's being displayed here so I'm going to quickly look and find out why that is if that is the case now this is the disk tech system so it's using a disk tech controller so what we're going to do is we're going to load up disk tech and uh, connect into the physical controller that's in the panel wanting a password and that would be the password yes so this ECYS1000 double click that and then we can have a look at the controller temperatures so this logic you can see it's slightly different to the way we write logic in Trillium still the same logic blocks and gates or gates not gates not gate there inverts signal but it uh, I don't like it I prefer the Trillium logic right so let's go for that's just a standard yeah, standard changeover. I want some temperatures here, don't I? Here we go. So, let's start it so we can see some temperatures. 59.9, 59.7. Well, they look about the same. I can't see any different there. Unless it's mistaking the valve positions, which it could be. It, this is what's controlling the valve to open up more water to the clarifier from the boilers to maintain a temperature of, yes, yeah, 60 degrees. So that's why they are open slightly. And that's the temperature of 60 degrees. So 59 and 59, let's go back to, that's their graphic, um, the controller. That looks about right to me. And 74.2 flow, 62.2 return. On the low temperature at water side from the boilers. Let's see what we've got there. That's air source heat pump due to change over. Common flow 74, return 62. Yeah. There's nothing wrong there either. Anyway, let me. Well, I've got an opportunity to just go through the graphics here with this job for you so we can click on this is the front page that they get we can click on this and of course we've got the graphic for the HWS cylinders for the temperatures that's from the air source heat pump so we can click on there that's showing the air source heat pump you've got your two temperatures there you got your valve positions there. Buffer tank from the air source heat pump. Go back to home. Gas boilers. Seventy-four and sixty-two. These are your valves that's taking it off the heating side. So you've got your low loss header here the gas boiler is feeding and then we pull off the low loss header into the building to the flats but also to the clarifiers there mm 
boiler room vent. Fan arm when plant room is above 19 degrees. Space temperature is 31.9, so it's quite warm in that plant room. Heating pumps. Can't see nothing wrong there. Nothing wrong with the meters. They all look good. If there was a point that was stale, it would be a different background. Um, my other background's okay then I know that it's reading the information that's just for the actuators again takes you back to the same page and the good old weather Right, so what we'll do is we'll just close that down a moment, minimize it. We'll minimize the disc tech down a little bit. And we'll just do a uh, backup of the controller, seeing we've been in here. So a station copier. And we'll copy that across. And put in today's date. Okay, so that's backed up. Let's have a quick look at application director. This is a bit like your DOS of your PC world. It tells you what's going on in the background. If there's any issues. stopped anything but I don't know why that was okay I'm going to the station doing services is I do another backup now this backup is slightly different to the one on the platform this one backs up all the IP addresses and everything you only need to do one of one or the other but I like to just do both I mean I can take these files and put them into my Dropbox for storage that one's backed up See if the email account is still okay. Or any alarms? Yes, okay. Number sent today. Uh, two. There's no issue there with the email alarms. Time 15.05. That's right. So there's no issue with the time. To what alarms we've been getting from this system five alarms that's just a network to our server that's not an issue and 
MVHR airflow status alarm, which is cleared at the moment. So let's just acknowledge that. Hmm. Just really, let me uh, force the clear on that one. Backnet. So backnet control to the disk tech, not Niagara network. These are the points from the back net, which is used to display on the on, on the graphic. So, basically, the supervisor doesn't really have any logic in it. Everything's in the disk tech controller. The supervisor just looks nice and collects history and stores information. Low temp, fifty nine. So while we're in here, let's have a quick look at the history and see whether we've had any issues with the flow temperature. Mm -mm. That's about well, that's the set point. Secondary flow temp. Oh, that's a bit up and down. Eleven AM. It's actually not that bad when you look at what is just between 59 and 61. If we actually take that and change it to not month to date because it's first, so let's go last month. Mm. 58, 56. actually not that bad <laughs> just this flows on me I think it has I'll wait for it to catch yeah no PC throws on me Okay, we're back again. I just had to come out of team view and go back in again. So we can stop that. We can close that down. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll just save the project because we can. So I can close that down now. Go back to that. Right, well I can't see any issues. So, I think we will let them know that by email, and then they can come back to me and say, no, you're wrong, there's this issue, but 
I can't see anything wrong. So we've got our boilers produced in heat, low in return, we've got a delta T of 11.5 degrees, pressurization unit's healthy, bit of it's being pulled off for one clarifier, the other one for the other, the air source heat pump's doing nothing really, which you would have thought it would have been, but it's doing nothing. Well, all that is used for anyway is topping up the buffer tank so you've got your cold water supply in and that's just keeping it so we haven't got cold water all the way straight into these cylinders we've actually got 46 degrees so it's a like a top up it pre-warms the water first before it goes into here for the boilers then to do that extra top up to uh, 60 degrees And of course we've got heating to the apartments, but I wouldn't have thought that they'd be having much heating on at the moment due to the weather outside. But we are given 44.7. Oh no, that's closed. Yeah, outside air temperature's closed then because it's too warm for any heating to be on. So that valve is closed. So we're just doing hot water only. okay that's it for this video if you want to comment put uh, your thoughts in the comment bar below i'll try and answer it for you and subscribe because i'm actually making quite a few videos now i'm just going to carry on with different sites so you see lots of different graphics lots of different logic and mainly Trillium Niagara controllers but they come in different varieties Distech, Honeywell, Trillium themselves, Isma they all do exactly the same thing and of course you've got your Trend IQ Vision as well but uh, if you can subscribe I'd appreciate it thank you for watching